first week of January and I'm off doing something very silly. <laughs> going on i left london um for the past year i've had a secret hobby which has been astrophotography um which is basically taking pictures of the stars and galaxies and planets and a variety of things like that and it's been cloudy for months it's been summer and i was desperate to get some new gear out into non-light polluted skies and actually captures some amazing star pictures, which I am. It's like minus four, <laughs> but that's good for Astro, because it means um, the, the sensor's a lot cooler, you get less noise. Um, yes, my gear has kind of grown over the past few years, uh, last year. Um, I've now got a little telescope, and there's a kind of telescope on top, which has another camera, and that then detects one star and actually helps you track the sky because we spin, the stars don't. So you have to kind of offset the tracking. Um, so your exposure is about three, four minutes. Um, so you need to make sure you're taking the nice curve of the sky or the spin of the earth. Um, so yeah, I feel a bit nuts out here. Um, <laughs> that's the first time I've done it with a bike. It's quite exciting because it means if I can go to more and more places, which have dark skies and get even better photos. Um, so I have to show the results at the end, I'm not sure. And also I think some lunatic called Ben is on his way to come and find me. Um, he's had a finished work at about six. He's jumped on his bike and he's found his tent and he's hopefully gonna come out with a whiskey and um, take some pictures of some stars too, should be quite nice. This weird little thing here. So very luckily, um, Silver sent me a few lights to kind of test and demo. I used them on the way here, not very far obviously, I only did a couple of miles, well, about half, half an hour's ride, um, but the lights are amazing, so I can't wait to do longer journeys on those. Um, the amazing thing about them is the burn time on the lights, they've got 12 hour burn time on their full beam, so I'm very excited about that. And, I'm not doing this the best way, but they also give you like a clear dry bag to put stuff in obviously, but you can put your head torch in, it makes a little lantern, which is quite cool. So I was hoping for some diffused light on my face, one never knows. So, fully random trip. Um, a bit of an <laughs> odd film for you guys, but yeah, let's try and show you something, maybe at sunrise, and definitely some star pictures. And I'm gonna explain my star things more later on. Hello. Out of the nowhere Here comes Benjamin. Oh. What a champ. Good morning, cousin. <laughs>
That was a chilly evening. <laughs> We've woken up and it's like frosty, super frosty everywhere. Just have to knock it all off the tent. Um, I think, well, we barely slept. We can't both say we slept at all. But we think some of the astro results are going to be pretty outstanding. So let's go home, do some processing. Um, I'm not sure this video is going to make a lot of sense. I do apologise. Um, kind of, it's too cold to explain a lot of things, especially last night. I was trying to keep warm, and this morning, um, and my stove won't climb, won't heat my water at the moment. It's so cold; everything's frozen, including all my water, which is not very good. Um, so yeah, but I hope you're going to explain it far more to you at some point. We'll do a proper video of it all. But here we are, my first adventure of January 2022. First time I've had to say that. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> Everyone de-ices their tents in the morning. How's your evening, Benny? Ah, a little, a little nips, <laughs> but uh, most entertaining. Yes, yeah, nice view though. Good way to start the year. Yeah. Better than lounging around watching television. <laughs> <laughs> My water from last night. <laughs> It's frozen! Frozen paradise! Yeah, it was a delightful <laughs> weekend in the country. <laughs> 